Ha, <laughs> yeah. Hey, beautiful people, it's Dr. Bacon. Hope everyone's having an awesome day. We had a special request to do another in our juicing series, and so today we, our last, uh, last installation on our juicing series we made a jack o' lemon smoothie with a caterpillar protein adder today we're gonna do a maui gonna step it up even go even more sativa and today's protein adder will be black bean aphids so the first order of business get yourself some ice a blender your favorite drinking glass and de-stem your flour Okay, that's a pretty good job of destemming, I would say. If you were to uh, work with hemp, they use a thing called a bucking board, which is basically a metal sheet with a bunch of different size holes. Sometimes there's big ones, and you feed these stems into it on one side, and someone pulls them through the other, and it essentially does the same thing we just did with our hands, but just at a really much higher rate. So we can set this aside, and these couple stems that are left We'll leave those in. That's a good, a good source of um, fiber in our diet. So, a couple stems to go with the protein, fiber, protein. This is going to be a do-it-all, do-it-all sativa shake. Great way to start your day or end it. really think I was gonna make smoothies. Now we are, what we're doing is we're making bubble hash. Here's a five gallon bucket. These bags are a sequence of different size strainers on the bottom of the bags. We have a 73 on top. Actually we have a 45 on top. Uh, they're labeled 45. That's going to be our catch-all. That'll be our throwaway. And then a 73, a 120, and a 220. So we'll get three sets of bubble hash out of this. I'm just being lazy about doing the mixer thing. And this will suffice. We're just dumping these right in the bucket. And uh, just like that. Everything goes through all the strainers, the biggest strainer, the most coarse ones on the top. Okay, now we can just more or less let this melt and uh, check back in the morning. Okay, it's the next day. Our ice is melted. So we're going to take these bags out one at a time and capture. So the first bag comes out and the first bag is trash. And we throw that away but we want to rinse some water through it and really get everything we can out of this first bag so we're just going to use some chilled water to do that We started with a 45 micron, so we did throw away some product, but now everything that's below this is good. So we don't want to lose anything. The next step is to, okay, one of the things we should have done was scrape the bottom of this bag, so that was a fail. So going forward, we need to take a moment to scrape the, um, the bottom of the bag as we go. So now we want to capture everything that's in this bag and put it on some paper. Well, I have to be honest, I'm really disappointed that we got almost nothing out of this. And I even tried to do another second filter, but I'm basically left with a bunch of colored water. We did this before and we had a pretty decent... Um, yield but we also had a lot of flour to start with and it was fresh frozen so maybe letting this dry out 
worked against us? I don't know. Give us your feedback. Um, we do have an episode where we make bubble hash with success. Check that out. High protein bubble hash. But this one, total fail. Nothing to show for it at all. Anyway, I guess that we got an episode out of it. So that's how it goes sometimes. Like and subscribe. Your comments are and suggestions are welcome going forward. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye. Dr. Bacon, like and subscribe. <laughs>